Some good news. There are some big changes coming to the Aquarium of the Americas. And as Danny Monteverdi tells us, they want your input before the work begins. The Aquarium of the Americas has been a fixture on the riverfront and a family favorite since it opened its doors. Now, three decades later, it's time for a few updates. We opened Labor Day September 1990, and so now we're looking forward to the next chapter. Some changes will be cosmetic, such as moving the entrance and closing in the breezeway that fronts the river. The Entergy Giant Screen Theater will also close. The ultimate goal? To add more exhibit space. When all said and done, there will be nearly 20,000 more square feet to work with. So again, you'll have more galleries and exhibitry and habitat for Audubon Aquarium and for the Insectarium uh, exhibits. You heard that last part right. The creepy crawly critters from the Insectarium, which was located a few blocks down Canal Street in the U.S. Custom House, are moving in with their aquatic cousins at the aquarium. It's a way to cut costs and increase revenue. So the Butterfly Pavilion is going to be located on the building's second floor and look out onto the Mississippi River. It's going to be really exciting for our guests. Visitors like Shante Mons say they look forward to the coming changes. We would definitely come back and see the improvements. I'm sure it would be great. And you can give your input into the future of the aquarium Wednesday at 6 p.m. during a virtual meeting. You see the website address here, and while it's a public meeting, Ottoman officials do ask that you register ahead of time. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. Now, Audubon officials say they're still in the earliest parts of planning for the project, so there's not a timeline yet for when that work will begin or end.